Would you say that that was wrong of her to try to teach you the value of your goods in that way? Or was it just wrong, period, to try to teach you, you know, the values? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm kind of like, it's kind of messed up that I was so young, but eventually I would have had to learn it anyways. And I had a lot of friends that were around my age on the flip side that was the complete opposite. They were getting trains ran on. They were in um, trap houses, Mm -hmm. fucking five, six friends. They were doing all type of weird shit. And I was just like, "Mm, no, I'd rather go to cheerleading practice or theater class. Like Mm -hmm. my mom would try to um, set up like piano lessons, you know, different things to keep me active. I was like, I'm not doing that. Y'all dumb, look. Like, what did you get from it? (laughs) Like, you know, what do you have? That mindset. So it was like, yeah. So in the, in the essence, it did teach you to not give myself away like that. And people ain't had no money then, so or yeah. nothing to give me. So I'm like, bitch, I'm, let me go to cheerleading practice. No, you that's know, that's real. That's real. That's yeah. real. Did did you ever have canceling um for this situation or in no. period in life? Um no. That's something that's interesting because you know I talked with um Hood Brat on our last interview right about mental health right and how mm-hmm. the topic has become so um popular now right. Right. And it's just not just mental health but mental health in the black community. Right. We Caribbeans, had guidance counselors. I mean, right. You know but guidance. They would rush you and they're like, hurry up. Okay. Anything going on? You're good. <laughs> exactly. It, it really wasn't like um like psychology like a mm-hmm. sit down and really get into the gist of it. It was just like right. you, like you said they were real dismissive. Right. Right. Um. So um like as far as mental health, do you feel like um not just from that situation, but just through life? Do you feel like anything has affected you, like mentally, depression, anxiety, different things like that? I think a lot of things have affected me. I'm one of those type of people, like everyone takes trauma and certain things different. I'm one of those people who like to forget traumatic experiences. Mm. So when certain things happen to me, um, I internalize it. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, I just continue to go. And then I forget that it even happened. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Until something brings it up and somebody's like, you don't remember the time we did this? And I'm like, uh, no. Right. <laughs> I right. don't remember. It wasn't like important, mm-hmm. you know? So um, mm-hmm. I, 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 w- I think I really want to go see a counselor so that they can um, help me figure out if I do have an issue. Mm. Because I may have an issue. And, and don't I even may, know. And I don't even know. That's real. But if I do have an issue, I would want to know so I could work on it. You That's know? real. That's real. And something you brought up, right? And it made me, like, you know, flip a switch, right? Um, Two things, actually. The, the first thing you mentioned was, like, nowadays when it comes to kids, right? Walking to school and, like, you know, raising themselves. Like, times have changed so much, right? Because like, I have a daughter now and, you know, I'm doing the daycare stuff, picking up, dropping off. And it's like... It's like mind boggling that, you know, you have to trust these people with your kids and different things like that. You know what I mean? So it's like um, some of the things that back then you can't do now. Like imagine 11 year old having the key to their house. They probably would have a party, all type of shit. You know what I mean? But it's just a lot of things that I'll just compare. Right. Um, But another thing you had mentioned was the whole um, money and and men. Right. Right. when it comes to guys, they're influenced mostly by like drug dealers, right? We right. want to sell drugs, we want to make money, and then you never really see the flip side with girls, right? They're attracted to, you know, the money and different things like that, but the options for girls be like stripping, you know, um, right. you know, same thing like you said, prostitution or any t- different type type of thing where it's right. interaction with men and money, right? Right. So like um for you, somebody who, you know, grew up and 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 were influenced by things like that, like where did it first come from? Where did it originate for you? Like, where did you first hear that concept or where did it get reinforced from? Okay. All right. So when I was like, when I was like, remember I told you I used to go to my, my neighbor's house and stuff like that. So they're going to kill me, but I'm just kidding. My neighbors had this, um, they're from New York and it was cool as hell. And they had like a cousin that came and stayed for a while. She was a stripper, so she used to watch all the kids. Mm. 
And sometimes I would watch her and I would see her come home with all this nice stuff and this man and this and that. And I was like, oh my God, that's so dope. She used to get like Victoria's Secret perfumes and have so much lingerie and mm -hmm. things like that. And I used to just, I was one of those kids that was always wise before my time. So I could read between the lines. I could hear what you're saying. I'm aware. You know, I done been through this traumatizing situation with this man. So mm -hmm. I'm fully functional. You get what I'm saying? And now I'm like, how can I get all of this stuff? Mind you, I'm, I'm, I have a parent who don't believe in spoiling kids with a bunch of different designer stuff and shit like Haitian parents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so I'm like, dang, how can I get all that stuff? And this and that and the third, and I'm just watching her. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the man spoil her and do this and that, but I'm not only watching him, I'm watching her have multiple guys in and out. Every other week, it's a different guy. And I'm like trying to figure out like, why is, like, what, what is this? You know what I'm uh, saying? Like, what's okay. going on? Okay. So then one day she sat me down and she was just like, Nikki, listen, if you want nice things in life or you want to have this and that and the third and a guy, you have to do an exchange. Never, ever, ever give yourself for free. Never, ever, um, you, this is a prize. My mom would always tell me, never let nobody touch you. That's a prize. Mm -hmm. Don't let, but not in that sense. Right. You get what I'm saying? She would tell me it's a prize, like never give it to nobody. Period. Lock it down. Period. Click, click. Don't even do it. It's yeah. not, you know? And she told me it's a prize, like, honey, it's like in exchange. Like waving it's in front like, of that man. If you want, it's collateral. If mm. you want to do this, this is what, and I'm like 12 years old mm -hmm. learning these values. And it wasn't helping, you know, the music around that time was the same mm -hmm. type of things, you know? So it's like, all right, well, this is what it is. <laughs> you know, it got to be. It has to have some type of truth to it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, that's just that. <laughs> and, and would you say, um, would you say that that was wrong of her to try to teach you the value of your goods in that way? Or was it just wrong, period, to try to teach you you know, the values, like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm kind of like, it's kind of messed up that I was so young, but eventually I would have had to learn it anyways. And I had a lot of friends that were around my age on the flip side that was the complete opposite. They mm -hmm. were getting trains ran on. They were in um, trap houses, mm -hmm. fucking five, six friends. They were doing all type of weird shit. And I was just like, mm. No, I'd rather go to cheerleading practice or theater class. Like mm -hmm. my mom would try to um, set up like piano lessons, you know, different things to keep me active. I was like, I'm not doing that. Y'all dumb. Look, like, what did you get from it? <laughs> like, you know, what do you have? That mindset. So it was like, yeah. So in the, in the essence, it did teach you to not give myself away like that. And people ain't had no money then so, or yeah. nothing to give me. So I'm like, bitch, I'm. Let me go to cheerleading practice. No, you know? that's real. That's real. That's yeah. real. 